Mr. Anil Sal. Mr. Anil is the Chairman and Managing Director of Electrolytes Power Private Limited and is an active member of IEMA. His association with electrolytes exists from 1994 and he holds a wide experience of more than 27 years in the electrical sectors. Today, Mr. Anil will be talking about sustainable electrical equipment for all sources of power. So let's welcome Mr. Anil. There is no doubt that uh, power reliability in most nations of the world has increased. Over the years, electric power has grown beyond providing utilities to being a dominant and fundamental part of civilization and smart products. The consumption and demand of electricity is increasing day by day, and even countries receiving coal power finance face substantial socio-economic and environmental risks associated with the newly commissioned carbon intensive assets. So in order to sustain power for future, many renewable sources such as this wind, solar, hydroelectric and biomass generation have been explored till now and now exploring green hydrogen as new source of energy. These various types of renewable energy are sustainable energy sources, which are environmentally friendly and more than 50% of the global electricity generation comes from these renewable in energies and it is going to increase. In present scenario, we have to design and produce smart products, which should be efficient and economical in addition to address the climate sustainability and usability. At present, total worth of India's electrical equipment market stands in the range of uh, US dollar 48 to 50 billion with a growing emphasis on green energy. Domestic power manufacturers are evolving strategies, strategies with smart and efficient solutions to capture the expanding renewable energy portfolio of power generators. Power electrical equipment market is expected to grow at annual rate of 11 to 12 percent and to reach a US dollar around 80 billion by 2025. Local electrical equipment industry will play a crucial role in the meeting India's renewable energy targets as well as the overall carbon reduction targets. I shall suggest five criteria for creating and adopting sustainable electrical equipments in this energy transition phase. First, redesign the equipments considering the climate changes. We need to redesign our electrical equipments, systems and network considering sizable climate change during the past few years, which all of you must have witnessed that. Uh, for example, you take lightning. The number of and frequency of lightning strike is increasing globally. And the strikes from the blue are killing more people even subsequent year. Between April 22, 2020 and April 2021, 18.5 million lightning strikes were recorded in India. And you will be amazed to know that this was a 34% increase from the 13.8 million strikes between April 2019 and March 2020. These facts and figures were shared by the Center of Science and Environment and down to and were increasing in numbers and their connection to climate change and growing urbanization. We are using surge arresters and other products considering the earlier climate conditions only to safeguard human life as well as electrical system, as well as home appliances. For example, surge arresters, which you call them as lightning arresters, also actually cannot withstand direct lightning strokes as it has a capacity of kj per kb energy dissipation. Direct lightning strokes surpass that capacity more often 
and hence for that a lightning protection device is necessary for sustainability of equipments and systems and now for every house we require such uh, systems apart from the high voltage systems taking care of this in addition to pollution and other climatic aspects while designing we can protect electrical equipment and systems for sustainability and we all have to need to adopt this the second is digitalization evolving into a system of systems as new systems like renewable energy electric vehicles and grid scale storage etc demand a seamless integration of these individual ecosystems into one homogeneous uh, system often called smart grid based on iot now your entire house can be controlled by simple gadgets and by iot solutions digital technology and digitalization helps to reduce carbon emission by improving energy efficiency optimizing energy management and improving operation process efficiency across the industry sectors our all electrical equipments need to be self communicable by adopting iot and should be scada adaptable for remote monitoring it allows them to monitor the system to determine where there is a pressure and to procure the services and solutions that they need in order to keep the system running digitalization is paramount to the success of energy transition with context specific data from how data to reach the goals of each aspects of energy transition is what drives its values for example even simple use of fault passage indicator can quickly identify faults remotely using technology and has saving power cuts and making electrical electricity distribution more efficient third is cyber security india's critical infrastructure has become increasingly vulnerable to cyber attacks with the power grid a major target with devices getting more interconnected the security of cyber physical systems has become a major challenge and we need to take sufficient action and investment in technology to prevent such attacks and incorporating defense system in equipment itself you must have seen the um, blackouts sometime in bombay or somewhere so we need to address this cyber security now the central electricity authority government of india has come out with a notification on 7th october 2021 to address this issue by issuing guidelines for cyber security in power sector ema members were part of the team for this uh, making this draft guidelines frame and the ministry of power has created six sectorial crt namely thermal hydro transmission grid operation re and distribution for ensuring cyber security in the indian power sector you know the electrical electricity is life now no one can uh, be there without electricity so uh, we have to take care of these uh, challenges each sectoral crt has prepared their sub sector specific model cyber crisis management plan for countering cyber attacks and cyber terrorism also and we need to really import the equipments uh, with this keeping this aspect also in mind the fourth is preventive maintenance the upcoming iot technology has enhanced the performance of condition monitoring and diagnostic testing methodology proactive maintenance plays a vital role in a normal and healthy function of substations the main objectives of monitoring are efficient and reliable operation and deduction of prematuring faults and bringing bringing down the loss of revenue and safety of products and people the condition monitoring aims in reducing maintenance cost confirmation of presence faults proactive decision prevention of 
catastrophic failure and destruction of peripheral equipment and the most important it helps life extension of equipment and maintaining safe work environment because you don't know that the surge is there and uh, it is damaging your equipment so by addressing that we can really extend the life of equipment for example surge arrestors condition monitoring is the most important factor to understand what's happening with the arrestor and predict its failure a real time monitoring of leakage current and such operation must be done to prevent its failure and replace it before end so now the new technology has come to monitor all the equipments before they fail and they will communicate you ki now you have to uh, take care of me or replace me the fifth is r&d and training also the digitalization of electric equipment is key to sustainability digitization can enable switch gear or power transfer for example with sensors and communication capabilities sensors can continuously send a wealth of status information and operational data to the asset management system through the cloud so we need to provide training to people for effective use of this technology or adopt this technology industries need to collaborate and take consultancy collaborate with other developed countries for r&d and adopt this new technology now the hydrogen is the next era for electricity we have to make india a green hydrogen hub and this will also lead to clean energy transition the national hydrogen mission and the green hydrogen sector will give us a quantum jump in meeting our climate targets i would like to suggest that new energy or electrical information and schemes should be even taught to students from the beginning in even schools or colleges that will really help them when uh, they grow to adopt the systems right from the beginning simple things like earthing in our houses also uh, we don't care how many of you take care of or checking the uh, whether this is effectively earth or not because that also protect your equipment and yourself also so um, earthing can protect products along the equipment and system and can work effectively only when the it is properly monitored um, electricity is everywhere and now the indian railways uses approximately 56 million units of electrical energy it has taken a number of steps to adopt environment friendly technologies for example railways have decided to electrify 100% of its broad gauge rail route in mission mode to make railways a green mode of transport even they require to redesign the entire 25 kv electrical network as well as electrical equipments based on future energy transition and load on systems climate system everything is subject to redesign based on the data we have available in the present scenario both electrical equipment manufacturers and users need to brainstorm as how we can be self reliant and relevant as well as sustainable for the next decade and uh, as mr sanjeev had mentioned that we need not to replace yeah if you if we will design well then we will not uh, we need not to replace them so the sustainability of electrical equipments can be taken care by five aspects redesign adopt digitalization address cyber security and go for preventive maintenance and monitoring and last not the least continuous training and r&d for new technology thank you